everybody, I'm back again, and in today's video, we're going to be servicing this locomotive, a Penline Midget Switcher, I think it's a D2 Midget Switcher, so that's cool, so what we're going to do is, again, I'll show you the oils, yeah, oils, that I've got to service my engines with, I also have got this will be used today, MTH grease, gear grease, for this little extremely beat up midget switcher. Very high mileage locomotive, I'm sure. Scoot back, see me, there we go. Extremely high mileage locomotive. So when I got this thing, it did not run whatsoever, so I opened it and cleaned it. And it started to run, so I was like, okay, it runs. But I never serviced it, so we're going to be doing that here today. Looks like there's some very old grease and stuff in there. So we're going to do that. So I'll get it apart, and I'll see you in a minute. So what I'm going to use here is flat flathead screwdriver, because it's flathead screws, and that's kind of how it comes apart, so... Take the shell off and get all that stuff done. And see you in a few seconds, I guess. Hi. And uh, just like that, it is back. Well, I'm back. But there it is. It's a part. Little Pittman motor. You know, they're very common in older locomotives. It does look to have an oil leak. Which is straight, which is probably due to the open gearbox. Yeah. So, let's get all that off of there. So, the motor turns over fine. We'll say that the weights are very, very worn down. So, the commutator I cleaned when I was, you know, doing that. Well, serv not servicing it, but cleaning it to make it run. So, got that. So what we're going to do is I'm just turning the motor over to see kind of how it feels and everything, which seems to be a little bit stiff, which is probably due to not much oil. I'm going to take the plate off the bottom to make sure that everything is all fine and dandy under there. First, we're going to service it to make sure that, that that's just what's going to be wrong with it so it will run. So, let's get to that. So, I have light gear oil, but I'm not going to be using that. Well, I'm not going to be using this, the, just this. I'm going to also be using the grease. So, I'm going to be SMT style. SMT mainline, which is another channel. And we're just going to put some grease. Because actually, I do this too. So we're going to put, put two part grease and one part oil. So two things of grease and one drop of oil. Then we're just going to get a little screwdriver and just kind of mix that in there. Because metal gears have a little more friction than plastic gears. And they attend to, you know, when they don't get oil on them, it's going to cause a lot of friction, which will bog down the motor and possibly burn it out. So, got our grease. We're just going to kind of rub it over those gears. Just put it in certain spots where the teeth are. So, but pure grease might be a little too heavy and then oil might be a little too light so it's good to kind of mix it in a little just to get it all fine and dandy and then just turn it and that'll get it mixed in so I'm going to turn this and get it all mixed in and then I'll be back when we take it even more apart. 
Alright, so you can kind of see that it's pretty mixed in now. We're going to take this plate off. I'll check the gears under that because without dropping the locomotive. That's Don't do that. Don't recommend doing that. So it looks like this may not be the original paint, which I'm not surprised. But it should be one long gear worm. Or worm, worm gear under it. So we're just going to take these screws out. And when you put the wheel sets back in, put it in the right way because it kind of won't work without it. So I'm just going to keep doing that. That screw out. And then this cover should just come right off like that. And as you can see, that is just terrible. That's also terrible. This thing has definitely been over lubricated. So, when you take them out, put them where you know that they're going to go back in the right way. But, um, if you don't put them in the right way, you will find out that you did not put them in the right way when you put it on the track, because it will short out. So... Okay, so that the heck there that there is absolutely terrible. That's all oil. So I'm gonna clean this up, and I'm sure you don't want to watch me clean it all up. And I don't know how to like fast motion videos, so yeah. See you when this is done. You can see that's looking a lot better now. The wheel sets, I have oiled, they're good to go back in. So let's put it all back together. So there we go, they should be in the right way now. Yep. Fix the cover and put back on it. I just put in the wrong way. Do that. Put it all back in nice and clean and straight and professional. So that's back on. We'll put the screws in because we don't want it falling off going down the track. That was close. There's a screwdriver. Put it screw back in. So you all have seen this engine run, and I don't think it was the last video, but the video before. Because yeah. And you can see it's very, very loud. And I'm sure it will still be very, very loud, but it was kind of stoppy. But still, I wanted to change the oil either way. So I'll put the shell back on, and we'll see when it's that's back on. The shell is been back on. Shell's back now back on. Let's go. And it would appear that. I know what's wrong with it. It was doing this before, but it's the um the brush has came loose, which it happens. I'm sorry about that humming sound. I'll shut that off. So, what it does is that sometimes this old thing will get the brush loose, but I'm sure you don't want to make see me put a brush back on an engine. There, and there's a better look. I'm sure you don't. Ah. Alright, you know what, there you go. I'm trying to get a good shot of the locomotive. You know what? Hold on a second, peoples.
There it is. Not gonna fix it in this video because I don't feel like it. I'll fix it in a little later maybe, but I'm sure you don't want to see me put a brush back on because that's about the simplest thing you can do with an engine. So please subscribe if you want to see more, which I kind of hope you do because it helps out the channel because we need subscribers. Cause we're, I think we're at 38 right now, so we're going on 40, and hopefully soon we'll be going on to 50, so, or at least 45, I'd be happy with that. I'm happy with 38, I never expected to get to that. Back to the topic. So, please subscribe, please like the video, comment, I'll see you next video, bye!